Hi, I'm Charlie Kasoff. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to calculate the rolling circumference of tires. Now, a tire is a circle, so the first thing you want to do is you want to measure the radius of that circle from the center of the tire, or the center of the wheel, to the edge of the tire. And that, sh let's say the radius is 10 inches. Well, if the radius is 10 inches, then the diameter is 20 inches. And the way we find a circumference is diameter times pi, or pi d. So we would get 20 pi, and pi is 3.14-ish, goes on forever. So roughly 62.8, which we would round to say 63. Now, 63 inches is the what's called free-hanging circumference of the tire. The rolling circumference will vary depending on how much tire pressure you have because, and how much uh, weight is on the tire because the more weight and the less tire pressure, the flatter it goes and it changes. So if you have a very light load in the car and properly inflated tires, you're generally talking about a 3% uh, difference. So it would be 97% of this. So you take 63 times 0.97, and that's going to equal 61.11 inches. And that would be the rolling circumference of a properly inflated tire. So I'm Charlie Kasov. And you just learned how to calculate the rolling circumference of a tire. Thanks a lot.